all right, geometric. Let x be a geometric parameter p, probability of success in a single trial. x is geometric parameter p, as said. Um, we're going to define it where x is the number to the first success. The alternative way is where x is the number of failures till the first success, all right? So if we write it this way, the CDF for geometric, let's just write it down here, is equal uh, 1 minus. Uh, before I do that, let's just rewrite this in terms of the different notations so you can probably this is more uh, concrete to what it means. Okay, this means this, probably x is less than or equal to a. And for geometric, that is 1 minus property of failure, and you failed uh, a times. So where q is equal to 1 minus p. Okay, now the left hand side of the expression, for that memoryless property, which says property x is bigger than s plus t, given that x is bigger than t, let's rewrite this. It's conditional probability, so we're thinking about that. Uh, that, that we know that these two guys are not from the uh, from the result is are not independent. Um, we use the formula that connects this conditional to the joint and the marginal. So this is um, this event here. X bigger than s plus t is an event that's like my a, and the b is like x bigger than t. All right. So imagine this is if it helps you. This is like my a given b. This is therefore my A intersect B. And we want all that over the marginal of X bigger than event X is bigger than T. Okay, um, right, so we look at this guy and we think, what do we do? So let's look at this top one and let's call this thing star so we can refer back to together. Now, probability x bigger than s plus t and x is bigger than t does that simplify? It means that the number of trials for the first success is more than t and it has to be also more than s plus t. So if we have a little line here the number of trials, number of trials one trial, two trial, three trial and so on so x here is the number of trials, t trials. So x is bigger than t, so we have to shade all this. Well, we should actually be shading the each t plus 1, t plus 2. Right? This is basically my Venn diagram. But we also have to have, at some point, it's going to be t plus s. And this means x has also got to be bigger than t plus s. So we shade in where that's the case as well. So it's got to be that one t plus s plus 1 and so on. And then what the intersection means is that it's where we shaded both regions. Well, it's this where we shaded both regions. And on, on and on. In other words, what we've got here is probability x is bigger than s plus t. That's the case when these two statements are true, that x is bigger than t and x is bigger than s plus t. Right? Because remember that s, t are non-negative. So this thing here is bigger than that thing, but x has got to be bigger than, it's got to be bigger than this, and it's got to be bigger than that number. Um, so it's not as, I feel I'm like making it more harder than it is. Let's just say t is 2, s, s is 3, so x is bigger than 5 and x is bigger than 2. Well, if x is bigger than 5 and it's bigger than 2, it's got to be bigger than 5. So that's all I'm saying. All right. Uh, but this, you can see here, uh, you, should, you should look at it and think, ah, that looks like something to do with PDF. And it is, because this guy here is 1 minus probability x is, if I write it this way, because remember, P, C, sorry, CDF is to do with less than or equal to, this is guy is less than or equal to s plus t. So the opposite of this basically is this. It's one minus the opposite of this. So if one minus of this is saying that x has got to be bigger than s plus t. 
right? Remember that because x is uh, discrete, because it's geometric and geometric random variable is discrete, that bigger than and bigger than equal to mean different things. So I c can't replace this by less than, because that would, be, it would mean different things. And But this thing is now in the form of a CDF. So I can, and I know the formula for CDF is here. So I just substitute that in. So I go 1 minus, and then 1 minus q to the power of s plus t. This is my CDF bit. Take 1 minus that through the bracket, and so you can see that's going to be q s plus t. Okay, let's call this 1. So that's the left hand side dealt with. The right hand side, we don't actually have to calculate anything because you can just say analogously, if we did this from here, you can see that probability of x bigger than t is just going to be q to the t because it's got to be of the same pattern. From here it goes to here. So basically you're just doing the power of whatever this is. This is the same pattern, so you just say that. All right. You could say it in a likewise fashion so that they understand that you haven't just made out. Okay, likewise fashion. Something like that. So let's call that 2. So we just say 1 and 2. We substitute that now into star. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, that's not. Oh, sorry, that's not the right hand side. That's the bottom bit of star. And I should say that. So 1 and 2 into star. So now I've got the top bit and the bottom bit. So I've got this expression. And you can see that probability of x bigger than s plus t, given that x is bigger than t, is equal to q to the st over q to the t, which is qs. And what I meant to say earlier is that now the right hand side is exactly, you can do it in an analogous fashion in a similar fashion to the above, you know that the right hand side is property x bigger than s is what we want, but we've just done all that calculation above, so it's a similar kind of thing. Um, so what we get is q to the s as well. Hence we say that left hand side equals to the right hand side, done. Okay, so just to look back on it, that this is what we wanted to show. This left hand side is here. The right hand side, uh, hang on, left hand side is here. And the right hand side is here. And we just say, look, they're the same. Done. And if we look at the expression, it kind of makes sense because Q is like probability of failure. So Q to the S means that you failed s time so if you that this says that the chance of you succeeding and you need at least s attempts to get a success is uh, same as that same as saying that you you fail s times so your success has to be beyond uh, s number of goes okay next i'm going to we're going to now turn to method 2 for the geometric and i'm going to use just so that you can see it we're going to use the um, probability mass function